From Texas to here in western North Carolina, scientists are saying flash floods are not only becoming more frequent, but they are also growing in intensity. News 13's Gracie Palmer is on the Swannanoa River to explain why. According to the National Weather Service, flash floods are the nation's top storm related killer. And the scientists I spoke with say it's not about stopping the floods, it's about preparing for more to come. As of Tuesday, the devastating flooding in Texas has claimed the lives of over 100 people. It certainly seems like these events are happening more and more often. Only nine months after Hurricane Helene destroyed western North Carolina. During Helene, they talked a lot about it being a one in 1,000 year event or more. According to Climate Central, rainfall rates today are now 15 percent higher than in 1970. That's not taking into account uh, climate change, where these events are starting to happen more frequently. And in areas where we wouldn't expect flooding. So the same rainfall event today will have more moisture to work with and cause more rain than it would have 50 or 100 years ago. Scientists claim climate change is one of the main causes. A warmer atmosphere holds more moisture in it. As the planet warms, storms get stronger and rain gets heavier. Climate Central reported that for every one degree of warming, the air can hold 4% more moisture, leading to heavier downfalls. WLOS meteorologist Jason Boyer says the landscapes of certain areas can also play a role. He breaks down the difference between the flooding in Texas and Helene. Now, with our rainfall, we were able to push it down into several different river stems and kind of flush it. Even though we had flash flooding, it could have been much worse if there was only maybe one or two main stems. Like over here in Texas, it's the Guadalupe and the Colorado River. Those are really the two big ones. But it is not just the floodwaters that pose a threat. They can also cause a chain reaction of landslides and erosion. It's going to rain. But I think it's clearly shown in the last several years that we are not prepared for the extreme weather of today, let alone how that extreme weather is going to change in the future due to climate change. Scientists say in order to better prepare, people must be educated on the dangers of living by a river and listen to warnings when they are presented. We ask people to have multiple ways of getting warnings. Don't just rely on your cell phone, a weather app. Um, have radio, a weather radio from NOAA. And meteorologists again warn that it is important to have an emergency kit in the case of these flash floods. For information on what to put in that emergency kit, you can head over to our website. Along the Swannanoa River, Gracie Palmer, News 13.